So as you can see, the bus is on a trailer and we're pulling it with a big old Penske truck. That means the episodes are returning. This marks the beginning of whatever episode starts with us talking about how we got the car to where we live now. So we're about 60 miles into Georgia. Uh, Frankie's going ahead and tightening down the straps. We're actually trying to do this the safe way this time as opposed to the usual way we do it. So the bus is now officially in Ringgold, Georgia and its destination. So here I am sitting in the bus in Georgia in my pajamas. And I think this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. The bus episodes are back. And uh, in this episode, I just want to give you guys a little bit of content. So it was a short camping trip with my uh, buddy Jack. We grew up in Miami. He lives in Tennessee now. And at the end of this episode, I'll update you guys on uh, life, what's going to happen with the bus, and uh, what you guys would like to see. Thank you for holding this long. All right, so in this episode, we're doing some impromptu Woo! camping. It's about to be nighttime. We haven't really planned anything yet. So I'm here with Jack. We're about to do some impromptu camping. It wasn't planned very well. We don't know where we're going, but we gotta buy some stuff and then we'll be on the road. Just, just head out to the mountains, dude. We're just gonna drive up to the mountains and see where we end up. So we're putting gas. We're uh, about to be on our way to Fort Mountain, Georgia. Fort Mountain State Park. Oh, Fort Mountain State Park. I don't know much about this area. So according to uh, common knowledge, you should not be using one of these indoors ever. But we have the windows open, we have decent airflow, and uh, we're out here in the mountains. It's quite an exciting road trip up. True. And uh, making quesadillas. Looking for a garbage can? Where are the bags at? We need a bag. So we've got our blankets, we've got our pillow. I'm about to set up this little hoo ha right here. So it's breakfast time and Jack is getting a pancake and waffle mix Opening ready. We're going to have to go wash this uh, frying pan at the lake. And uh, we're going to go over there right now and check it out. So that's the parking spot we found last night at midnight. And uh, this is our uh, private lake. Not so private. This is the lake. All nice and free. It's about 40 degrees outside. You sauteing the water. And this is our view. Our view is beautiful. Not only can you flip the pancake, you can flip the pan. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta humble yourself. So, of course, we have the pink plates. Give me some more sausage. I will take more sausage. Thank you. And uh, when we're done eating this, we're gonna make the pancakes because we didn't bring uh, enough pans to make both. <laughs> but uh, it looks pretty good. So this is the second pancake we make in the bus. Jeffrey's drinking his water. And uh, he's gonna give it a flip. Too easy. Too easy. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. So if you ever wondered what it was like to drive a VW bus up through the mountains just know that you'll most likely be in second gear most of the time because there's absolutely no power in these little engines but uh we're making our way to this tower thing it's gonna be gnarly we're gonna walk up a tower and hopefully get an amazing view to show you guys so you guys just wait and see that is nice how's that feeling right there We've lost a lot of speed. I'm trying to gain back some speed right now. Oh, there's a car behind us. <laughs> Whoopsie. Sorry, buddy. Out of courtesy. Courtesy always wins. All right. So instead of going to the tower, which we're still going to, we just found the most breathtaking spot I might have ever seen in my life this far. I can't believe this exists. This this is crazy. 
Oh my goodness. I think this is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in Georgia. Oh my god. It's beautiful. This looks like a painting. It might be a... Are we dreaming? Is this Bob Ross? Have we... Take the truth. This is exactly what it looks like. So this is the next view. We're here stopped, ready to set up the grill. Have lunch and then uh, explore a little bit more. Tell stories, play music. Let's get Stubbs in there. Stubbs, legendary barbecue sauce. Sponsor. <laughs> that, that, that's what we're putting the hot dog on. <laughs> Super rusty. So that's our little hot dog thing. I don't know if it's really meant for that. Then I got my uh, baked beans warming up here. Uh, oh, oops. So gas. Ran out of gas. Guess that one's empty. Good thing we brought two. Good thing we brought two. So luckily we came with two propane tanks. I got the secondary one in. Oh, there we go. You got to watch for the sear marks. Those are those are key key elements. <laughs> and uh, once again. Park somewhere beautiful. Let's give you a look. Nothing but mountains. There's not really anyone out here since it's winter. So we've got the whole state park to ourselves. I wish you could smell what we were cooking. <laughs> oh, trifecta now. This is called Let Freedom Rain. <laughs> Where did it hit? So I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed that short little camping trip. I know I didn't record much and there wasn't too much content, but I was just trying to get something out there for you guys so you guys could see the bus is still alive and uh, we're still using it. So really what I wanna let you guys know is that, uh, you know, in the this past year, a lot of things have happened in my life, a lot of personal things uh, with family, and uh, now I'm living uh, with my brother and sister here in uh, Georgia, uh, Ringgold, Georgia, and that's where the bus is. Basically, what's going on now is uh, in the summer, I'm going to be going back to school in the University of Tennessee, and uh, for now, I'm going to be working, but I would like to see if it's possible for me to take a trip to California and back sometime between now and when I start school, because I'm going to have time. So if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, a long road trip, Basically, you know, I've never done that before, just taking the bus and seeing how it goes. Uh, let me know, um, you know, if you guys really want to see it, I would start a GoFundMe so you guys could help me. There's a few things that need to get done in the bus to make it, uh, you know, livable and to be able to make it all the way over there and back. So, obviously, if you guys help me with that, I would document everything. I would record, you know, all the work I do to the bus and, you know, I'd try to provide some content for you guys to watch. If you guys are interested, let me know, comment, like the video, and, uh, you know, I just want to do what you guys want to see and I want to enjoy the bus with you guys. You guys have stuck around with me for a long time. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers now. I remember when I was talking about a 1,000 subscriber q and I still want to do it. Thank you so much for your support and uh, hopefully we make it to 10,000 soon. Uh, if I could keep producing videos and content and Whatever you guys want to see, you know, I got a lot of work to do to the bus, and uh, hopefully it'll be good. Thanks for watching. See ya.